one. Nice job with the belts. Lucky your mom went through the Madonna phase in the 80s, huh? Madonna? Uh, shouldn't we try to hide him or something? Ah, it's New York. No one will even notice. No, no, I don't care if it's Johnny Appleseed. Don't touch my petunias. You live here? Haven't you ever seen a mobile home before? Not like this one. Ugh, my girlfriend and I broke up, and what with my college loans, I... Look, this is a valid, financially responsible life choice that your mother does not need to know about, okay? <laughs> oh, you're judging me as well. <laughs> Come on, boy. Just down the front here. No, oh, or stick your big fat butt right on my bed. No, Clifford. Oh. Clifford, don't slobber on his financially responsible life choice. <laughs> Emily! Owen! What are you doing here? I thought you were sick, so I was gonna bring you your homework. And I also skipped the eat, which I'm suddenly realizing makes me look a lot more desperate than I anticipated. So, you're not sick. No, we're going to the vet. Don't you need an animal for that? <laughs> dog No! no. Oh. Is that a dog? It's okay. Nothing you see here, folks. Just a big red puppy. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> We're trying to keep this quiet just until we can give him small again. So, this is so cool. Come on, you guys gotta let me come. This is the kind of education you can't get in a classroom. I've seen TED Talks about this. Sorry, pal. I got enough on my plate keeping one kid alive. There is no way. Okay, I guess he's coming with. Clifford, no, no fetch. No fetch! interview was brilliant, Mr. Tierney. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't want to have high expectations, but I'm excited about what I'm going to see. Uh, well, unfortunately, Mr. Tierney, we haven't seen exactly the kind of genetically induced growth we were hoping for. That's a two-headed goat. We're trying to feed the world, and you're creating more mouths to feed? I guess you could look at it that way. Oh, I am. And it's looking back at me with four eyes. That's a little unsettling. What's our goal? Uh, well, to feed, feed the world. Talking. Our goal is to grow giant food through genetic engineering. I would <laughs> How much money have we spent? Is it? $400 million. That is so much money, huh? I know. Surely you have something to show for it, right? Well, so far, sir, now I heard it so far. Did you hear so, so far? far? I heard so far. I, I heard yeah. it. And what that tells me is we have not failed. We just have not succeeded so far. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Not you. I was talking to them. So with that $400 million, what have we produced? Larger chickens, cows that poop chocolate. What? Why don't I just show you? Oh, that is what I like to hear. OK. Well, this sheep at least has one head. That's a bonus. And what do we have here? Thicker wool that shears itself? Fur that smells like Santa Claus? Why? Uh, not exactly. We included her because she's... Why, Alva? She's mean. She's what? She's... Mean? She's mean? She's nasty. Well, now you're just lying to me. No. You're telling me that this 
Gentle team. <laughs> <laughs> On your face, I'm assuming you have more good news. You need to see this. That can't be real. It's all over the internet. There's a 10 foot dog in Upper Manhattan. Oh, I smell your hair. Sorry. Whatever made this dog grow could make our food grow and then save life grow. <laughs> Please find him. Yes! Examine him? Yes, I am, because I'm, I'm a veterinarian. That's what I do. I, I examine animals. Mm. Mom, take a look inside your mouth there, buddy. Oh, easy. You want to maybe tell him? Oh, yeah. Clifford. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Oh, maybe have a little more faith in the kitties. Good job there, buddy. All right, let me take a look there. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. That's the large teeth on the big red dog. Is that a medical opinion? It sounded very scientific. All right, yeah, so why don't we get you on the scale here, bud? What's the only... It's just a platinum edition of the X-9000. Sorry about that. No problem. I'm just gonna write... Heavy. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, why don't you take his temperature? What? Why? You know I'm a little better. Uh, where? You know. No, I don't know, because I'm not a vet. Well, in the animal temperature taking place. Which is? Rhymes with nut hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to, yeah, we're not going to do that. Don't even worry about that, Clifford. <laughs> Why don't I just listen to his heart? Yes, yes that, yeah. Let's yes. do that. Let's do that. Come on, listen to your heart now, buddy. All right, there we go. Oh. Ew. Clifford, 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 Clifford. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I, I got to say, besides being big and red, this dog is healthy as, well, healthy as... A horse. So you don't know what made him grow like this? I'm sorry, I don't. Living there in like a toxic waste now? Or maybe on top of a burial ground? Because I saw this movie this one day. Okay, I think we're done here. All right. Crazy idea. How about we leave Clifford here with this professional until, I don't know, your mom comes home, and if he hasn't shrunk him back to a normal size, then you can just figure it out without me. Casey! That is cold. <laughs> you know what? Why don't I finish up the examination? You guys can just go wait in the other room. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Get you out of here, That's one big handsome fella you got there. Why, thank you. Sign here. Very good. Very good. Yeah, who wants a treat, huh? A little treat? There you go, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Okay. No, no. You'll get another treat in a little while. Another treat in a little in a little while. You get it in a little. Treat. 